Welcome back to Snacks. It is in fact time to bake our cookies and pretzels and whatever else we made that isn't cookies. Right now we're making our first batch of Christmas crack. We're gonna make two. Other than that, I don't think there's anything really going on right now. I see Except for frantic trying to get your sister ready for Christmas exchange and super glue and hot glue guns don't work and well, everybody's crowdy and happy Merry Christmas cooking day. It's her fault she procrastinated. Ooh, I'm not trying to get down your shirt. Yeah. You're making common, basically. But my hand is not ready. I'm gonna try and fix this. I watched a tutorial on a cute messy bun, so we'll see if it works out. Stop bubbling and then put the chocolate. Oh, did you see that cracker? Just it was a lot worse before. It looked like a brain. Okay, sprinkle. Oh. Don't touch the pan. It's hot. That's brave. I usually just put it in the cap. Yeah, you got a little bit more control that way. Because not everybody mm -hmm. likes a whole bunch of jimmies on their Christmas crack. Jimmies. <laughs> That's what they're called. Okay, so my mom is leaving to take my sister to like this Christmas thing with her friends. I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna do the mint chip cookies first because my mom said if they don't work out like she thinks they're not going to, then we have time to make more batter. So we'll see how this goes. Mom, do I have to put anything on the pan or just the cookies? Um, well, easy cleanup sounds pretty good right now. Where is the parchment paper though? That is the question. So it says 358 to 10 minutes. That's all it says. Sorry, preheating. My mom is a pro. If you remember, these are the ones that we forgot to put the egg in. And it is still a little frozen, but it's pliable. So I think it's pliable. Yeah, so we get all the cookies. Those cookie sheets are only for cookies. So they should wash and clean up really nicely. So I just did that thing for no reason. I'm gonna use my hands. I probably washed them first though. Oh, ow! My mom said I can't microwave it because it'll cook the egg. Now I know why my mom let me do these when she wasn't home. Because she didn't want to do them. Oh my shirt. This is taking forever. And I hate it. These cookies better come out good because I'm not doing this again. Alrighty. Now that my hands are all clean. They fit perfectly on one pan. Some of them might be a little bigger than the other ones, but they're not bad. Let's hope they don't all cook together, but if they do, we'll just cut them into squares, you know? But now I put them in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna go with nine because that's my method of doing things like that. So now we wait for nine minutes. Should I go get the other dough? Oh, you know what I have to do for my mom? I have to Google how to make cream cheese filling for the Klotchkis. So I'm going to do that really quick. They're still like raw. I'm smushing them down right now. I think it's working. I'll just put them in for another like five minutes. That's not that bad. I'm such a problem solver. I'll see you in five minutes when the second timer's done. And if they're still not done, I'm just gonna keep putting them in for like two minute intervals. Moment of truth. I might have to do a toothpick test. Find the thickest cookie. Oh, they're definitely still raw in the middle. I'm putting them in for another three minutes. And if that doesn't do anything, I have no idea what to do. 
I guess I could wash my dish real quick. Oh, I do. Is that your first batch of them? There's only one batch of them. Really? That's kind of disappointing. No, what's disappointing is that's their third time in the oven. I can't tell if they're just still warm or if they're not cooked. Um, no, I think that they're done. They look overly done, to be honest. Go grab another bag of cookies. What do you want to do next? I grabbed the Snickerdoodles. <gasps> what? And I tried the um, bun tutorial, and um, as you can see, I look like a peacock with a tail. It was an that epic is the peacock's tail. It is an epic fail. I wish I knew if a peacock made a noise. I'd make the noise for you guys right now. Yeah, they're like, ah! What noise does a peacock make? I have no idea. Let's Google it. Oh, they make fake sex noises. That's not what I want to make. <laughs> oh, and we're going to do our nails tomorrow, probably. What do you mean we are? Well, mine are from Thanksgiving. Can you see, like, my alcohol? Mine are from December 3rd. Like, disgusting. And they're so long, except for this one. I want them all this long. But they're so long, I can't even text right now. Oh. oh. Suck at making cookies. Mm, do you want to try it? They don't taste like a cookie. They taste like a brownie. Maybe that's why I like it. Yeah. They're on the cooling rack. There's 20 cookies because there was five rows of four. Or four, four rows of five. Whatever. There was 20 cookies. I should get it off the oven if I want it to cool though, right? Get out of the kitchen, Feet off the table. Get out of the kitchen, we're all hungry. Yeah, get out of the kitchen, right? Feet off the table. Feet off the table. Feel a little bit more festive. If I stop talking about Harry Potter. No. Because there's like a Christmas scene in every Harry Potter, so that doesn't bother me. Should we bake cookies talking in our British accents? Okay. No? Well, we're not really doing anything right now. And so begins your accent. I talk like that normally sometimes. I know you do. And then you yell at me and then I apologize in British accent. Sorry. Oh, my balls are flaky. Uh, uh. <laughs>